By the way, SunTimes.com is reporting the Bears got Cutler. SunTimes.com is reporting the Bears got Cutler. The SunTimes, it is, we are following this up as we speak. I guess the score, Zach Zaidman, is on it. But I think the SunTimes website is apparently getting pounded at the moment. Hmm. We have more from Brian Peruk. Yeah, Dan, just as you mentioned, SunTimes.com reporting the Bears, and I'll read it verbatim, uh, the news alert. The Bears acquired quarterback Jay Cutler today. This is almost too unbelievable to keep going. But right. The Bears acquired, I'm already, I'm right. in a haze already, but go ahead. The Bears acquired quarterback Jay Cutler today for number one draft picks in 2009 and 2010, a number three pick this year, and Kyle Orton, the SunTimes has learned. Hot! Damn. The Bears received the Broncos' <laughs> fifth-round pick this year. Cutler, 25, is coming off a Pro Bowl season with the Broncos, but he became disgruntled and wanted a trade after learning Denver was considering a deal for quarterback Matt Castle. And breaking news on the score is presented... And he loves the Bears. ...by Four Seasons Heating and Air Conditioning. Check them out at the number fourseasonsair.com for all the right reasons. Four Seasons, guys. Go get him, Jerry. Yep. Go well, get, now, what did I say? All Just, right. You could juice that up a little bit besides those two first rounds, and that's what they did. You all got right. third rounder there. Now, first of all, who you crapping will be tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Friday Fung tomorrow will be, if that, if we do it even then. Because this tomorrow may be a, every, everything from here on out that we've promised for the rest of today and perhaps tomorrow is suspended. 312-644-6767. In case you are just getting in your car, in case you are just turning on the radio, the Chicago Sun-Times has learned the Bears got Jay Cutler. Number one picks in 09 and 2010. A number three this year. And the three picks this year. Yeah. And Kyle Orton. And Kyle Orton. 25-year-old Pro Bowl quarterback Jay Cutler is now the most talented quarterback in the history of the Chicago yes, Bears. He is. And welcome to Chicago, Jay Cutler. This is not an April Fool's joke. No, we're past that, are we? We are past it. This is we're not an April it. Fool's joke. The <laughs> Sun-Times is reporting that Jay Cutler is a bear. Unbelievable. I, asked, I had people, several people ask me today, and you know what I said the chances of the Bears doing this were? None. Did you believe it? Well, you know when I started to, when I started to believe? When was, did you start to believe? When, Tell me. When it was two first-round picks, because I know Jerry hates first-round picks. Well, that's true. That's the but first I mean, thing I said. people were throwing in, you know, I mean, you know that goofball in Washington will give you everything. Wow. Wow is right. <sighs> well... No, we, if this is true, and we, this is the Sun Times dot com reporting. If this is true, we'll see if we win the if we ultimately win the war on this one because we got a lot of people who say, I'm sure listen to us today said you're idiots. He's bad. He's a bad guy. He's this. He's that. Well, now if how's it true, feel we'll find now? Out. now I, I wonder right now. I wonder how many people who said don't get him, don't get him, don't get him are now dancing in the streets. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder too. Like I say, a lot of this stuff is written on, on the belief that I had. That you, if you're the bear, you ain't going to do it. It's just not very bearish, but God bless Jerry Angelo. How about that? I'm stunned. I am absolutely I'm, I'm, I'm floored. Absolutely I am yeah. floored by this. It's not that, you know, I said, look, I, I, it's very simple for me. It, it, it's not that I don't believe you should do everything on your silly power to bring him here. It, it, just, it just doesn't seem like something the Bears would do. There's not a history of them doing it. They talk the fight. You've got all these teams that will give you anything you want. Jerry backed it up. Yes, he stood he there and he said he's fixated on the right. quarterback and position. And he backed it up. And, he, and they were going to do everything they could do to get that stabilized. And Jerry just laid it. it out. Now, now, see, that's okay. Now your backup's that little fight there. Is that Chicago tough enough for you? Yep. He said he was going to do it. Damned if he didn't just do it. And we are joined by the scores football expert, Bears expert, Hubarkish. He, kids, is a hater. 
<laughs> He's a hater, Jay Cutler. I am not a hater. I'm, I'm the expert who a few hours ago got into it with Hamp and said, don't do it, but I am not a hater. And so, you know, guys, I, I, I just hope that this isn't being done for PR purposes and, and, and because of what was expected and because, you know, they, they wanted to make everybody happy. I tend to doubt that they would do that. They've paid an awfully steep price if it is. Um, but the bottom line is i got to believe Bears Nation is thrilled right now because they got their guy. I, I just hope he can give them what they want. What under what circumstances would he not, barring an injury? I, I don't I don't see any. I, I mean, Hub he is enormously talented, and I I heard what you said before. And I'm going to take you out and beat you senseless someday, <laughs> you know. But it's okay. I don't take it personally. I, I mean, I I don't know how you miss with this guy. It, it's one of those guys. I, and I'm I'm not saying he's. I agree with you. I don't. I'm not saying he's Johnny Unitas or Brett Favre. And I'm not saying that at all. But he sure as hell is the most talented quarterback you've ever had on your damn roster as a bear. Yes, he is. Too. I, I, physically, I agree with that. And I'm not even at this point going to start with any of the immaturity and, and, and the mental and the attitude and the me first and all that. Let's put that aside. Let's let him get to town. Let's let him speak for himself. Let's let his teammates be the judge of that. When you go back to the physical part and you look at what's going on here, behind a really good young offensive line and with two of the brightest young receivers in the league, one of the best receiving tight ends um, uh, and, and, and an excellent running game in spite of all the injuries, along with those 29 touchdowns or whatever it was, came 18 interceptions. He has none of those things to work with here. So, so the question is, what are they going to do now this year? What are they going to do next year? How long is it going to take to give him some weapons? Does he make Devin Hester better, or does he get frustrated because rarely is he going to find Devin Hester where he's expecting him to be, or at least that's been the track record of Devin Hester slash receiver. So um, believe me, guys, I'm going to spin this negative. I, I, I'm as surprised surprised as anybody that they were this aggressive. I, I am as surprised as anybody that they were able to get it done. I just predicted on this air about four hours ago that they wouldn't be able to. Um, but now there's a lot of questions to answer is how are they going to leverage this new talent they've got? At 440 at Chicago Sports Radio 670, the score. Indeed, a remarkable day in Chicago sports. And we bring in now a guy who's one half of our brilliant morning team, Mike Mulligan from the Sun-Times. Molly and Hanley, you hear him every morning. And the man who busted the Jay Cutler story. Molly, congrats. Well, I tell you, I was hoping to save it for the morning. I can't believe it's out all day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You deserve it. Seeing how, how frazzled you get often during football season Trying to do a million damn jobs, working as hard as you do, you earned this today. Well, God bless you. Even the blind squirrel, it's uh, it's delightful. I, I, yeah, I, I am, I am like everyone else, gobsmacked that the Bears <laughs> had the guts to go out and make this I happen. I am too. I, I can't believe it, Molly. Really, I, seriously, I can't believe it. It is absolutely amazing that you know they they give lip service to this stuff all the time, and you always hear that you got to get the quarterback, and and there's and they're working at every level to try to do that. But to actually go out, and this is, I mean, hey, they're rolling the dice a little bit. This is a chance. I love the move, but but it takes guts to make that happen. I'm take a bow, Jerry Angelo. Congratulations to the organization. They have addressed the position that that has haunted them since the great Sid Luckman, who we all remember so well. Uh, oh, talented. That, I mean. Come on, he holds quarterback records here. They had to do something, and they finally got it right. It's a, it's a very exciting day. I, I'm pumped up. How did it happen, though? Take us through from the moment it was clear he was actually available, or maybe before then. Maybe a lot of the public posturing was going on as, as a deal was already being discussed. When were these talks concrete talks, and how quickly did it come together and the others fall by the wayside? It is my understanding that the Bears have been very active in this thing, that uh, that they have been kind of behind the scenes, that people haven't uh, haven't really uh, known about a lot of their interest. I know there was a Yahoo report that they had contacted them when, when it became obvious that there was a schism with the player, and they just said, hey, make sure that we're in the conversation. Whatever you need to have happen, we're in the conversation. And and other than other teams that may have said that sort of thing, we know there were ten teams supposedly that contacted them. They really meant it. They really did mean that they were willing to do whatever it took and, and whatever had to happen, and it's my understanding that they have been uh, all along since this thing started. Since this, uh, I mean, a lot of people apparently uh, were, were fell asleep on them because, like all of us, they just dismissed this idea that they would make a move that bold. But once they found out this guy was available, they were absolutely the aggressor in this thing, and they just worked to its fruition. 
And I would think, Molly, that we're not the only ones that are stunned. What are you, gobsmacked or whatever? I, I, I would think that everybody, <laughs> well, your giddy aunt. I, I, would, I, would, I would think that people around the NFL feel the same way as we do. Yeah, I think there's no question about it. There's a couple of things here, I think, that really help them out. Um, number one is that uh, Buzz Cook, the agent for the player, uh, had had uh, Brett Favre last year in New York with Eric Mangini. Now, the, the rumor around the league last night was that, uh, that Mangini wasn't sure about the quarterbacks in, in Cleveland. He's now the head coach in Cleveland, and he had decided that uh, maybe it was time to uh, to move one of these guys. If you could get a Jay Cutler, you go ahead and do it. So he was going willing to trade Brady Quinn is the way the story went to uh, to uh, Denver and of course Josh McDaniels runs the system out in New England that Charlie Weiss would have run in college and Brady Quinn might have been a good option for them so there was a lot of uh, kind of late stuff last night saying Brady Quinn could be a part of this thing well apparently Buzz Cook was so uh, disappointed with what happened to Brett Favre and Favre had such a bad experience with Mangini he didn't want his guy to go through that and he let that be known fairly early in the process that that was not an option at all, and they wanted a quarterback back, and they and they had broke broken down tape in Denver apparently on what Kyle Orton does, and and they liked Kyle Orton as a player, and they felt that uh, that with the combination of I guess it's two number one picks and a third rounder, uh, number one this year, number one next year, a third rounder this year, and Kyle Orton, so they got a starting quarterback in Orton, and they uh, they move forward with uh, the two number one picks, a third rounder, they give up a fifth round pick along with this kid. All right, Mully, you better uh, start in right now because it's going to rain overnight, so you got to get here in time for tomorrow. <laughs> get to the car and get moving, would you? Hey, it's the, I mean, you want to talk about signs of the apocalypse. It could rain fire. <laughs> I think it might. All right, buddy, we'll be listening in the morning. Nice job, Molly. Thanks, Molly. Mike Mulligan, <laughs> half of the scorer's morning team. Boy, this division now, they're going to, that, that Sunday night opener, Aaron oh, yeah. Rodgers against Jay Cutler on national oh, TV. Yeah. And now well, you're probably going to have Matthew Stafford as a lion. So the, Probably. The, the, division of, smart. the division of rising young quarterbacks, huh? That's a good one now. Maybe they won't be so. Maybe you can actually watch games and enjoy them now in that division. Well, that's a nice little side benefit of this whole thing.